Hey guys, SK here, and welcome back to the Noble SMP server. And guys, I have a problem. I've kind of been addicted to building the past few days, and that has rendered me unable to make a video because if I did, it would be crappy and wouldn't have any energy in it, and it would be really, really boring for you guys. I don't want to put a boring video out for you. So, I've just taken the time and fed my addiction and built. Built a lot of things. So, I'm going to show you what my problem is is given birth to as soon as the sun finished set setting or actually now would be a good time all right uh yeah <laughs> we have this awesome hall here with a tower in the distance and um i don't know even how much of this you guys might remember but uh we'll try to get some alternate views because there are some cool places you can stay in oh look at how cool it looks with the tower back there so we will uh we'll go sleep now since it's night time and then we will... Oh my. That one hurt a lot more than it did last time. Got them feather falling boots though. So yeah, we will uh, we'll go sleep. And then I'll show off everything that I've built. And then we'll do some stuff this episode, okay? So, uh, yeah, this hallway, right? Spruce wood, stone brick. Pretty basic, but I like it. Here, it's just uh, jack-o'-lanterns with gray carpet above. So that's nice. Gives off a lot of good lighting. And if we sleep... And I can show you guys some of the other stuff that we've been working on. So we'll go and uh, set up in about the same place that we did for like the view at the end of the last video. Yeah, we'll be on practically the same block. And we'll do it as a view for this video. So you'll you'll see the instant difference, okay? Alright, okay. Mm -hmm. Jump up. And wow, look at all that. There used to be a hill right in here that I uh, landscaped and tore that out because it was just blocking that awesome awesome hallway there but we finished all this if you can see close enough there's like a uh, spruce wood trim that runs right along the top there i really like that gives some more detail so that's done have a tower up there and we'll do some awesome circular building there so let's uh let's do a more in-depth tour before we get to doing other things because i really do like what i did i don't know i just i felt like building it's um in my eyes it's sort of lord of the Rings style because I've been really, really obsessed with Lord of the Rings lately. I've uh, begun reading the books. I'm like 175 pages into Fellowship of the Ring, which is the first one. And so I'm just like, okay, I'll just take that and go. So I have no torches down here anymore. I've just done the piston lighting, as you can see. If we break the cobble, you get the full picture. It's just a torch underneath an upside down piston. But it looks really cool because the piston kind of blends in with the cobblestone, I think. Especially if you got a distance. Not enough to like make it look like there's nothing here, but it's really cool. I like it. I actually like it more than if this was the same texture, so I'm not going to be changing it. It looks good. But, as you can see, this is the mine. Pretty, pretty simple. I finally finished it. This probably took the longest, actually, just because it's so much. Oh, I didn't quite finish it. I have uh, some more oak wood stairs to do right there. But, pretty basic design. Just going all the way down with lots of lighting. And we have another piston light here with these... Uh, stairs i don't know i wanted to try something different i think it looks kind of neat but here we have our big wall of books a lot of this up from like i think from here over these last uh how many is that these last 10 are totally unnecessary but they, they look good they complete the look of everything and um there's a lot of different uh styles of building clashing along here but it looks good so we have this little king size bed here with a view out the window. I need to work with the balcony, but I have done one thing with it, which is like this staircase over here. My little sister, who's played Minecraft once, actually suggested this to me because I was like walking through here and showing her it. And she's like, you should have like a staircase over here, like an, a side exit to get up. And it has been really nice, to be honest. It looks really good and it fits really nicely right into there. So that's that. If we go back in here, I can show off more stuff. I think we... um. All we got done last episode was this room up here, and we didn't even have a ceiling on to finish. But this looks really good. Completed here, it's, I call it the observatory, because you get some really cool views out. But if we run back into here, this is the area that I've hardly done any work on, but I, that I think has a lot of potential. So we have this cool staircase going down, just a zigzag pattern with uh, dark oak right here. And we can have this awesome fishing village. And this river actually... Like, the valley, at least. Not quite the water, but the valley wraps back around over to where we were in the beginning of the episode. So, if we run back here, I can show you the tower that I mentioned earlier on. Yep. 
It is right here. It's really cool. Really cool entrance. It fits perfectly with this. I don't know. I'd never planned any of this to fit so nicely, but everything just kind of came together really, really well. And you get some really nice views from up in here. I was kind of conservative on the top of the tower at the very top, but down here you can see it's just a basic thing. We might have like a, a guest room in here or something if someone wants to come and sleep. But pretty conservative up here. I do like... Oh, hey. Mess that up. I do like the uh, oak wood with the spruce slab underneath. But you get some nice views. You can see the hallway over there. Look out on the dark oak forest out there. Uh, nothing really out here, but you'll get some cool views once you remove all the snow and start building in that way. And out here you get some good views as well, but this is the one I use the most because it looks really nice. You can also get a view of the hall from over here. So I like the tower a lot. It looks good from a distance. Up close, I had to um, sacrifice a little bit of detail for some good views, but it looks good either way. I do like this pattern that I did. It's just a uh, stone brick down here with cobblestone walls and gray carpet. And then spruce, and as you can see, dark oak planks. And this leads right back to um, this kind of center of activity here. So, it's really, everything's really actually quite packed in, but there's still so much building that I've done, which is really awesome. Alright, if we go through the tunnel, or the hallway, I haven't really decided, I like calling it my hallway, but I don't know. I want to show you guys kind of what I have planned for uh, this mountain back here. So we'll have to get away a little bit because it's big. It's big scale stuff. Okay, so I'm thinking uh, like a little half tower wrapping around here. Because it's kind of already a natural half tower and it'll look really awesome. Big, big thing. And like a wall that comes out and extends over to here. And buildings all throughout this thing. Just like a huge fortress thing, okay? Bear with me. I, I, I'm not good at describing this sort of stuff. I see a vision in my mind, and I just want to roll with it. But I need to record so you guys can see what's happening. So we will uh, we'll run back to the main center and grab us up some stone. Because I've been doing lots of smelting on that. There were a lot more torches in here. But when I added in the redstone lamps and the pumpkins underneath, I was able to take out a lot of torches that were up along these sorts of spruce walls. Man, I need to slow down and take a breath sometimes. I don't. I guess I don't realize how fast I get talking. I just get carried away because I want to tell you guys so much stuff. But this is our stone chest over here. So we'll grab like eight stacks of that, probably. Do I have? I do have logs somewhere. Wow. Wow. I had twenty jack lanterns in there that I couldn't use. I didn't even realize it. That's unfortunate. I didn't even see that. Okay. Oh man, a little bit of lag. Our host is really, really bad. I don't know, it's hosted out of Washington, D.C., which I think I'm the closest person on the server to that. Uh, closest active person, and it sucks. I don't know, I get so much lag. I would say it's my internet, but I really don't think it is in this situation. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's four, five, six, seven. We'll just do a big 8x8 eight eight square, because we've got 60, we have, I'm bad at English, we've got, we have got, we have, we have 64 saplings, so 8 times 8 is 64, math, woo! But, uh, yeah, if we finish planting all of these, we'll just let that grow in the off time while we are building. So, what do we have in this chest we can use? Good, good stuff. Bruce wood. Um, we'll need some cobble for, yeah, cobble for, like, scaffolding and stuff. I really should have brought some dirt, but I don't want to head back. Oh, wait, 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 snow for scaffolding. Good news. So, what I like to do with my towers is I like to build the basic shape of it first, and then go through and add the detail later on. So, after I do the shape, I will tell you guys what it looks like. I'll show you what it looks like. So, I'm going to cut here. And I'll see you when this shape is done. Alright, so this is why we get the basic shape. So we can see what it's going to look like roughly with that there. And I think it looks good so far. I know right now it doesn't look great, but after I go in and add some detail and some different blocks and such, it'll look much, much better. So what I did with this was I built up the basic tower, and then I added this... Uh, I can never think of the name of this, but I know that this tower is called a rook because it uh, extends out at the top. 
So I did that, but at first it was too short. It happened like it came out like somewhere around there, and so I put it up like six blocks, I think, four or six, can't remember. And then I redid it, and I think it looks a lot better that way. So now what we can do is we can go in with some wood, you know, oak wood and whatnot, and add some more detail, which is exactly what we want to do. I think we're actually going to do spruce wood so we can match that part of the uh, thing. So I think how we're going to do this is run through and add it in right in the middle, which is right here. So, I'm using dirt as scaffolding, I'm just going to have it. I know I said I would use stone, or snow, but oh well. Can't always do what you plan for. So, I think this is going to look good. I don't know if we're going to do the exact same up, uh, up on that section. But, nevertheless, I like how this is right now. And the floor will be much higher. It'll be like, you'll be like this, pretty much. And what I want to do is, let me grab my crafting bench that I set up up here. I'm gonna, um, I can't remember what the uh, technical parts of the castle are called. I've done research on this before, but all of a sudden I can't quite remember. But the uh, little little things that stick up that give extra cover, we're going to be putting in some of those. So it'll be like, there, there. There and there is a seven across one two three four five six. It is. I thought it was five. Okay. Oh, did I not do this right? Oh no, I did. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, I did. Wow, that had me worried there for a second. I thought I did not do this the way I had wanted to. Okay. This is looking good like that. So we will repeat the same over here. This will just add just the smallest amount of detail to the top, but it will make it much, look much, much better. Oh, hey, I forgot a block right there. I knew something looked off. It just did not look right. It didn't look similar. Okay, I think that's how it went on the other side. If not, we can always repair it later. So we will hop down and we'll see how this uh, spruce wood looks. I'm getting some whistling in my voice. I need to wear my retainer. When I don't do that, my S's have a little bit of whistle to them sometimes. So, yeah, that's already adding more detail. It may not look like a whole lot to you guys, but from here I can already tell that it's going to really dress up everything, make it look much better. Oh, okay, I know why that was 7 up there now. Alright, so I'm trying to think what I want to do with this. Hmm, we might do one. I did not plan this the best, I don't think. If you do it right there, if you do another like uh, spruce wood strip, bam, we fall. If you do another spruce wood strip right here, we will be good. Okay, so I'm going to work with this a little bit and add in some more detail. I'm going to take a quick commercial break, and I will see you when I've accomplished some more with this. Okay, so we've done this. Okay, it's a lot like the other tower, but... I think it looks good. I don't know. You guys need to leave your opinions. Because without you, I don't know. I'm clueless. But it's upside down and regular stairs and these cobblestone walls. So, I don't know. It's all up to you guys. I kind of like it. I think if I repeat it and add some more detail, it'll look really good. Maybe do something with these walls. Because that, that doesn't look good. Does not look good. Maybe if I even go in with the spruce wood and... Um, just do this entire section here with spruce wood. I'll see how that looks. We'll, we'll do that real quick. But we're drawing near the end of the episode because I've put, like, uh, I've been recording for like an hour and put much more than that into it. So I'm about ready for the episode to be over. Plus, I'm going to see a movie here in a couple hours, and that's uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2. I'm so excited. It looks awesome. I know, I sound like a little kid saying that, but doesn't it look like a great movie? You guys out there have seen the... Uh, seen the things for it i think it looks hilarious and awesome like the first one was really good too i remember going to watch it so let's see quickly how this looks and it's turning night time but uh how is this looking hmm i really don't know i kind of like that i just don't know if that's too much wood i'll have to try on the other side too but 
uh, yeah, I like how this tower is looking so far. I'm kind of limited because it's not a very uh, straight walled tower at all. There's, there's no like, uh, this is the only really straight wall for any length. The others are two or one long. And you can't do much with that and maintain, you know, good looks. So, I need to know what you guys think. That's the most important thing, is what you guys think, because I am doing this for you guys. Mainly I'm doing it because it looks awesome and I enjoy building, but I'm also doing it because I want to see how you guys react to it as well. Okay. And if we finish this off, head down here. Feather Falling Boots are so nice to have. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I really like that, actually. I think it looks good. I just need to add some more spruce wood into different places, kind of incorporate that and make it look good. And that's all for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.